Hi. Thank you for joining us today. My name is Barry. And I'm Jay. And we are Matusa Crafts. And yeah. this is Tommy's Tale. Yeah. <laughs> As usual. As usual. Yes. Is he going to come on and say hello? No, I think he's no, gone. It's here. comfy. He's gone I just. Right down there. <laughs> so, sorry. There we go. Cool. <laughs> yes, we're independent stamping up demonstrators based in the UK. So, if you live in the UK, France, Germany, Austria, and the Netherlands, you'll be able to purchase current stamping up products from our online shop, mitosocrafts.com. We also um, have a donate button at the bottom uh, with the link. Hopefully, uh, if not, I'll add that on. Uh, so or any on this post. yeah. Indeed. So any uh, any amount would be great, uh, and uh, for your support, I uh, like and share our videos as well, please. Uh, also, we do a monthly tutorial, which is free uh, PDF via email or. Uh, Yes, via email that you get for free uh, whenever you spend a certain amount from our online shop. Which is how much? It's £46 okay. normally, but it uh, fluctuates depending okay. on how many tutorials. Yeah. All right, okay. But it's normally about £46, yes. isn't it? So spend yes. £46 and you'll get that, but keep yes. an eye each month. Is it ever any more than £46? No, no. that's the max. So max is uh, £46, is there, but it may be less depending on the... Um, depend on how many tutorials are yes. in it that month, so keep an eye on it. So you normally get that at the end of the month or beginning of the next month. Uh, so this month is October still. Uh, the, the theme is Winter Wonderland, and uh, so there's loads of inspiration using Christmas stamps, uh, seasonal stamps. And next month, it'll be blessed, grateful, and thankful. So yes, so uh, mm, you could yes. So on our website as well, on under the shop button, you could also uh, purchase the back back log back log uh, back catalog <laughs> back catalog of the uh, tutorials on their own as a standalone. So if you leave, if you leave, if you live outside the UK. Uh, in the EU, you can purchase that uh, as a standalone tutorials. Hi Sandra, hi Danielle. And Gigi, Gigi hi, was on Gigi. there as well. Thank I you for saw. joining us. Yes. yes, so this evening we're actually gonna be concentrating on a treat holder box. Yeah, treat box. So a variation of this one which Jay made a couple of weeks ago. Um, but it's a slightly it's a slightly different makeup, so it's a it is a different box. Um, shall I show? Yeah. yeah, we're going to be making this. Yes. Okay, so it's, it's very similar, but it's a different it's a different way of making it. So um, it's another style of box. Yeah. And Jay is going to be doing that, and Jay is going to be doing the coloring for you. So because yes. he's so very we, good at his coloring we and the finishing we'll, touches. We'll do something. Um, Halloweeny. Halloweeny. Yes. So, uh, but we haven't actually got any Halloween. Um, we, designer we've got a designer series, series paper. paper. Um, we've lucky enough that we had some of these um, cuts which we did already, didn't we? Yes. And we went for a play date. So the paper which we're actually using today is actually the Dino Raw designer series paper. Mm. So. Um, not a paper you would go to for Halloween, but it's a, it's a, very, it's a kiddie paper, I yeah. would say. But I think the patterns which I've used today isn't kiddie at all, but some of it is. Yeah. Um, so we'll show that when we come up. I'll show it to you briefly now. Um, that's one. That's the pattern which I used for that box there, but on the back of it you've got your dinosaurs. And I figured it's feet. They look skeleton-y. Um, <laughs> so it could be, um, it, it could be Halloween-y. You've got eggs here as well, um, cracked eggs. So they've, but you've got cute dinosaurs on the back. So, but again, That's quite cool. Halloween it doesn't necessarily have to yeah. be scary. Halloween is just about sometimes dressing up and um, things. So yes, so we're using the Dino Raw paper to make a Halloween card. Yes. Or Halloween treat. box treat box. Yes. So cool. and it's a good way. You don't have to use your, your papers. I suppose it's a good a good way. Your papers don't necessarily have to be for yes. what you think they they because, should be. Because, well, um, 
what's it? Halloween is tomorrow, so just make do with what you have in. in exactly. Your, There's no. We couldn't order. It. We couldn't order anything. Get it in tomorrow. So yes. we had to make. We had to improvise with what we had, and that's what I found. Had a yes. good look through our papers and thought, oh, that would work. Good find. I think. Yeah, I found quite impressed with that. And yes. I had to come up with that all on my own as well. I had no, no help from Joe yes, whatsoever. I came in at quarter to seven. So I was um, slightly later than planned. Uh, Are you going to come show? But yeah, so uh, we'll just going to quickly run through a couple of projects that we created the last week or so. Um, so this one Barry created with the uh, baby wipe technique. Yeah, that was on Sunday's video, wasn't it? Yes. From YouTube. So if you want to have a look at how we created that check our youtube channel and i did the baby wipe for the background as well so if you haven't seen that done before uh go check it out and subscribe and hit that uh, bell button in youtube as well so this one is the same uh using the baby wipe for the background as well as the tree uh and our royal stampers team um or queen pips uh royal stampers we, we tend to head the uh, challenge every month and this month's challenge was thank yous. Thank you. Simple, simple, stamping. simple stamping with a bit of punch, uh, DSP and sentiment there from Barry. And this one I did with um, love something. Love uh, what you share, do. Love what you do. Love share what, what you, you love. Or, I yeah. did have to pussy cut, but everyone's got scissors, right? Yes. Yeah, if you're a crafter, you've got scissors. And lastly, from today's blog post is uh, the tic tac toe challenge from Paper Craft Crew. So using the wild to a wild rose there with a bit of foil and some uh, more bricks and mortar um, 3D embossing folder there. there. Yeah, you can see oh, it yeah. from there. Yeah. I, I, I was looking at the but white. Yeah, it's, it's on the white as That's well. It. No, we I, I, I love that. It is a really nice yeah. embossing folder. It's, we don't use it enough actually, but it's no. very, it's very realistic. Yeah, you can see. It doesn't look. It's not too uniform. You've got bits which yeah. are raised higher than the others. It's a really nice embossing folder. Yeah. Cool. Which so that's lovely. our projects for the week so far. Hi, Michaela. Uh, Barry's gonna. Hi, Trudy. Hi, Trudy. Sorry. <laughs> Barry's gonna start. Uh, am I? Yes, well, you have Tommy there, so you need to, um, I'll take him off you. There you go, and you can start. Say hi as soon as you come in, and um, just let us know how we're doing, and see, uh, Barry loves to see some likes and hearts, please, because he tends to get, oh, no one likes what, what I do. No, I don't. You do. You dob me in, snitch. <laughs> yes. Anyway, right, crack on. Crack on, right, crack let's. Egg. Flip you over. Oh, I've got a thumbs up. Hey! <laughs> don't sit down, Tommy's on your seat. Oh, well, Tommy! It's, it's proper sat down on my seat, isn't it? Come on, off. Off. You can go on the other one, we can share seats. Okay, so this is what we're going to be making. So, a variation of this one here. And then Jay's going to show you some real good colouring techniques as well. Yeah. So I'm going to show you how I've picked it up. He, he says he can't, there's no good at colouring. He lies. He, he says there's nothing special. Don't pick it up. But it's, he's very, very good. At, he's very, very good at his colouring. So I'm going to make the box and he's going to then finish it off. So what we need to do is, and I'm going to be, because I'm using this paper here and I'm either going to be using this ribbon to finish it off or I'm going to use some black one. So I've gone with a neutral card base. Whereas on this one, I used a Mango Melody card because that was what it was, Old Olive Mango Melody, which was in here. So I've used I've used the coordinating colours which go with the paper. Whereas this was um, Pretty Peacock and Whisper White, but the colour in there matches quite nicely with the paper if I use this one. So I've gone for neutral colours on this one. So this is probably more of a, a boy, uh, a male trick or treat gift. This one, whereas the other one's a little bit more girly. So we need to take some cardstock and we need to cut this down to, we need to cut this down to eight and a half inches. 
And this is the new trimmer, um, which is available to demonstrators at the moment, um, but it's also available, well, I say to, and it's also available to customers in two days time. So if you're after a new trimmer, I would highly recommend the new Stamping Up trimmer. Um, we've used this an awful lot recently, haven't yeah. we? And I've done a lot of swaps of it, I've done a lot of cutting, and we're still getting a nice, clean edge, which is really good. Um, so yeah, eight and a half by seven centimeters, seven inches, okay? And then we're done with that. You can either use the score, you can either use your trimmer to score if you want to, because it has got a score and option on it. But if you don't, if if you don't, sorry, but if you do have a simply scored board or a scoring tool, I would recommend you use this as well because you you it's just it's just easier and you'll always get consistent lines. So we need to now score this in inches, okay? So we need to score it along the short edge at half a centimetre, half a, half an inch, two inches, five inches, and six and a half inches. Okay, then we're going to rotate it around so we're now scoring along the long edge and we want to do this at two inches, three and a half, five and six and a half. Okay, and that's what you'll end up with. That one there. So, and that's your scoring and your trimming. Ooh, done. So what we need to do is we need to cut away some bits. So I'm going to fold and burnish first. So the reason it's quite, I suppose, if you do Halloween, um, Making your own little gifts like this is quite good because it's a good way of you, especially if you're um, if you're running classes or if you sell the products as well. It's a good way of getting people interested in what you're doing. So I said, "Well, that's really cute. How did you make that?" Well, if you like the options, you can buy them from us. So um, for any demonstrators out there that are watching, this is why it's good to make your little home your handmade gifts. Um. If you're not a demonstrator, you can become a demonstrator quite easily. Yes, so, join our team. Join our team. Become a Mr. Husu Stamper. So I'm going to cut away these parts here. Take away this little tab here as well. Go all the way down on that one. And go all the way down on that one as well. Might as well work methodically around and then notch in that one. And then Just cutting away what the bits which we don't need now and then cut away this part here and then notch in right there. and we'll repeat that on the other side as well so take away this big square on the ends Do the same on the last one. And that's it. So that's all your rubbish. And that's what it should look like once you're done. 
okay so what you want to do now is we want to just to get grab a ruler and we just want to pop a little mark on the inside of the box at one and a half inches okay so find the center you want him to find the center of this tab at the top here so just pop a little mark on it there it doesn't matter if it's in pen because it's actually going to get cut away okay and then at one and a half here because then what we're going to do is we're going to grab our scallop tag punch which is this one and we are going to pop this in so obviously this gap here is for two inches but you can get larger pieces in you just need to just feed it in it will buckle it a little bit but you just need to just feed it in gently which is why i now needed that pencil that pen mark because what i want to do is i want to line that pen mark up with the center of that tag okay once I've got it, once I'm happy with the position in there, I will then punch out. Okay, and that's what you're going to be left with. And I will do the same on the other side here as well. So line that pencil mark up and down we go. Okay. What I would then do now, what I did on the on that one is I've then just taken this and then I've just taken the edge to the corner just to cut that off and down like so and do exactly the same the other side. Just do it to the corner. Is that rice or right, Jay? Mm. So I could smell it. <laughs> We're cooking dinner at the same time we've got rice. Right? So there we go, that's what the box is gonna look like in its flat state, okay? So what we can do, if you want, we can decorate this up first. So if we grab the trimmer again. Let me find the way. Sorry? If I'm in the way. No, you're fine. So what we need to do now is we need to cut a piece of paper. So I've gone one eighth of an inch smaller. Okay, so it's one and a half inches down. So I need to take this down to um, one and three eighths of an inch. So one, two, three, right there. And I'm gonna cut a strip off like so. Okay. And then it needs to be by two and seven eighths. So which is there. I'll be able to do get two out from here. So there's my two pieces. So two and seven eighths by one and three eighths of an inch. And then we need a one and three eighths by one and three eighths. Um, squared. So I do it's one and three eighths there. And then I will then just bring this down and then just do this at one and three eighths. There. And there. Okay. So that's those bits done. And then I need a two and seven eighths. So I'm going to use this part. Up, and then I have to cut another piece up. So a two and seven eighths by one. Now one of the good things about this trimmer is that this here hasn't got a dip in like our other trimmer used to do. So I can push this up, whereas normally it would you wouldn't be able to do that. So I can still put it up against the line. I can leave it like that because it's gonna cover under the ruler, so I've got nowhere to touch it, but I'm happy it's not gonna move because it's butted up against the side there, and I can quite happily. So even small pieces underneath the ruler are a lot easier to cut because of the lip, which you've got here. You can butt it up against it and it doesn't go anywhere, which is a real good feature on this trimmer. Okay, so that's that one there. So two and seven eighths by one inch. So we need two of those, so I'm going to now, see, if you're making batches of these, um, you can um, 
I would say cut it to your two and seven eighths. Um, by one and three eighths. Now I'm going to do this on the pink dinosaur ones because I'm going to make another one up in these and it's going to be in pink. So this piece I've cut to a two and seven eighths so when I go on to make the pink one it's the correct size. So I'm going to cut this down to two and seven eighths here. That's ready for my next box later on. Okay put that to one side and then this is the other bit which I need which I want to cut down to two and seven eighths. Hi, Sandra. By one, okay. So I've not wasted anything because I'm making another box. This part I've just thought about, and I'm going to do. I'm just going to use the back side of this one here okay. for that side. All right. So there's all of my designer series paper cuts. So if we grab some glue and we stick all of this on. So we will put some glue there. Hi Sandra, thank you for joining us. How are you feeling? Having a good holiday? No, we're not worrying about these parts because these are going to get stuck inside the box. Okay. We'll just do it on these bits here. So because I've gotten that one eighth, of, one eighth of an inch smaller, we've got a nice even border around the around it as well, which is because it looks even. It does I think it does, it's just a lot more pleasing to the eye. And actually sticking a designer series paper on whilst it's flat is a lot easier as well. So if you're making lots of boxes like this, make your boxes score them cut them then stick your paper on then have a then have a folding and sticking session okay and on these ones these bits are going to be going in here so what i need actually could you grab me a pencil please jane mm -hmm. <clears throat> because i doubt this is going to show okay so what i did here was that i lined this up in in line here and then i just put a little pencil mark here and a pencil mark there. Okay, and then I've then gone from corner to pencil mark. And then pencil mark down to corner. And then that should then fit in there quite nicely, like so. Okay. done with this Jay, I've just got mm -hmm. to construct it and then um, that's the box made. And then what Jay is going to do is going to come in and then finish the box off for us and show you some colouring tips. And we do the same for this one here, so line it up so it's in line with your paper, okay. Grab a little pencil mark there, pencil mark here and then just cut from corner to pencil mark. And then that will then fit in like that. So no exact measurements on that one there. I've just eyeballed that one, so which is why this, the sharp scissors which you can cut from cutting one swoop are perfect for that so that you can um you can just do it in in one movement without having to snip snip you can just do it in one movement without having to snip snip through ah. <laughs> great demonstration there wasn't it do you like my scissor demonstration yes oh rice what did i just say to him just a minute ago how's that rice doing 
Cool, there we go. So that's what your box will look like, flat and decorated, okay? So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna then just fold all of this over and decorate it up. So you're gonna need to put some glue on this tab here and on this tab here, this tab. Or if you haven't got glue, um, another thing which you can use is you can use a snail, the adhesive snails, which is quite good. Um, I like, I, we don't really use that stuff at all, do we? We're, we're, we are, um, we're wet glue all the yeah. way. And what I should have done is pop some glue on this tab on the inside as well. Because what that's going to do is that's, and this is where it's going to help you out because this is going to then fold in give you a nice clean edge along the top here and then also hold the box in, in a perfect position because you can use that, it's not gonna go in, in any further on that. That's my little tip for that one. Mm. And I quite liked it because it finished the edge off. So if you haven't cut it quite straight, it doesn't matter because it's a score line. All right, so we will put some glue on that one. Bring that over. and then fold it in, like so. Can you use the purple ribbon on it? Because I made the purple. Oh, what, that one there? Yeah. yeah. So we've got a, the tricolor ribbon here, um, which is in purple. purple. Um, it just says purple, it doesn't say any other colors, yeah. but it's... Um, it looks like... It looks like, a little, like grapefruit, no. Yeah, grapefruit, Hi, grapefruit Grove. Highland Heather and Purple, purple posy, possibly. <clears throat> so that's that one there. All right. What so are you going to put inside? What am I going to pop inside? I am going to pop. Um, we also sell the gusseted cellophane bags. Okay. So I'm going to grab one of these because the problem is, if you go and trick or treat them, you're going to give these to the kids. It's going to get put in a bag, um, and then they're all going to fall out. <laughs> so I've got some eyeballs. So if they're go, if they're going to go in there, they're and they're in a bag, they're just going to fall out. So if you've got some gusseted bags, then we're going to pop them in. So I'm going to pop. I think I put ten in. So we're going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So we've got. Actually, I need to manipulate that bag a little bit. That's it. All right, pop your eyeballs in your bag, or whatever other little chocolates or sweeties you wanna you wanna do. And I've just folded these over like that, and that can then sit in quite nicely in there like so and if you fold it in a way that it doesn't it's not obstructing it you can still see the eyeballs in there but they're not falling out <laughs> all right so that's that's that and those guys and the way it was designed actually that was pure, pure um i didn't actually plan it with that but it's pure coincidence that these have actually been the perfect uh, size is that the correct size on the catalogue three inch by three by six i didn't plan it because initially i was going to do a smaller one um, so and I now thought, oh, and it fits yeah. perfectly. So that, that was a that was a happy accident. So, and then we're going to pop your purple tricolor ribbon through this, and this is why it's good that we've used the tag topper as well because we've got the holes um, already. And all I'm going to do on this is I'm just going to tie. I'm just going to tie a knot. I'm going to going to tie a bow. I'm just going to because obviously it's it's. You want to get into your suite quickly. And the last thing you <laughs> yes. want to do is have to untie a knot. Oh, yes. Ooh, Hi, some spare ones. So that's where it's going. And then we can then just snip off. Snip, snip. Snip, snip. Ah. Snip, snip. And then we've got a bit of a, 
a bit of a ribbon there, which is nice. just special. So there is my little treat box um, using the Dino Raw paper for Halloween. So Jay's going to come in now and show you some lovely colouring tips <laughs> and um, finish it off for us. All right, cool. so I will pass you over. And there we go. Hello. Right, so... Hi, Sarah. Hello. So I've actually been colouring whilst Barry's been making the box. And um, I coloured the one that he had on this one. I did do it in Old Olive combo, Highland Heather combo, and the uh, Smoky Slate with a bit of light basic black. That looks a bit funky with the yellow. Uh, I also created another one. That's why I asked him to do the purple. Uh, so that's going to be for that. But for my coloring quickly, uh, I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna change the color from these two because if um, Bar's gonna be making another one for those, so I'm gonna use the flirty flamingo and it, that's pool party. But I thought I'll go with balmy blue just to keep it. Um, Sorry, did, is that, did I confuse you then when I did, yeah. or did I throw you no, off when fine. I said I'm gonna go with a pink one? Well, I was thinking... Well, yeah. we're going to make the third one anyway, yeah. so that's fine. Um, so I'm just going to pretty much do the same. So starting with... I'll do the shirt in Flirty Flamingo. So I tend to use the bullet tip. And I always do the darkest area first. Um, and just color it in. Uh, think of where your light source would be if you want to if not you can just block color it um, so i'm just gonna go in with the light and i tend to um go over to blend the dark as well so then it kind of like just merges into that um, and then we have his shirt on top and then there so I'm gonna, going in with the light again, and then just going over the dark areas again. And that's his shirt done. Sometimes if you do have plenty of blends, I tend to introduce a, a darker shade as well. So obviously the blends only comes in light and dark. So for this one, I would then introduce a different color, maybe lovely lipstick, uh, which then, um, coordinates with that one to then have a really dark uh, contrast so but I thought I'll keep it to two so it's not too much um, I'll have his trousers in blue so if we go in the dark so closer to the shirt because obviously that's where the darkest area would be and then go into with the light there we go and then the rest of him will be grey. <laughs> well, why not? So, smoky sleigh. Ah, I'll, I'll give him a blue, shall I give him a blue hair? I'll give him a blue hair. Blue, blue hair. Since he's got a grey, green hair. Okay, so, I'll just do the dark first. It doesn't matter, it's gonna be messy anyway. So, I'm just random, I randomly just, created lines and then just went over with the light so that's the blue done and then I'm just gonna smoky slate so this one I will do in I'll introduce the dark no the light basic black just to show you what I mean so I'm gonna go over the darkest area With, it looks black, doesn't it? And then I'm go. I'm gonna go in with the light. Too many dark. With the dark smoky slate, and I'm just going over the um, light basic black as well. And then I'm just gonna add the light.
again you don't have to color this way I just I, I just like it so then it's got a different shade and it creates a more um, three-dimensional image there we go oh feet and hands feet and hands <laughs> right feet And what's quite nice about these images from Boot to You, it's it's quite um, easy to color as well because it's just small areas. Barry, can you get me yellow, yeah. please, just for the eyes? Uh, Daffodil delight. Or Micro Melody. Uh, Dark one. Dapper Build the Light. Just the light. Both of them. I thought you were able to do Dapper Build Mango. Thanks. Is it? That's the light. Wow. But that was the dark. Let's see the dark. How dark is dark? How dark is dark? Okay. Not too bad. There we go. Ooh, ears. <coughs> Can't forget the ears. I forgot the name. There. See, isn't he great at coloring? There we go. Ears. I've done his ears. I'll just do the eyes. And we're just gonna pop them at the front. Are you doing sentiment at all or are we leaving it? Yeah, we we I can do the sentiment in well set because just uh, in the well set it's one of my go-to <laughs> sentiment um, stamps. There is a lot in here. Um, Here we go, and it comes in two pack, one, uh, two yeah. cases, and I thought I'll just do for you because there's no other ones. Yeah, we haven't got a boo. We got yeah, we don't one. have so the scary one. We don't really have a weenie one. So that one. Can you get me blocks, please? I thought you had one here. You moved it, didn't you? <laughs> Thank you. Size blocks on a tiny block. Yeah. Tiny block. There you go. Ooh. And I'm just gonna do that in black and Barris off cut. <coughs> Why not? Well, might as well use them. I'll make three. There we go. Have you, what, have you got a punch over there as well? I'm just gonna cut it, but well, you, I was thinking. you can do it with the. Um, what were you thinking? Well, look, is that still too small? Is that too small for it at all? It's too big. Or too well. Yeah. That's no, all right. I was just gonna cut it. Okay. That's fine. Uh, the Jay likes his fussy cutting. No, it's just gonna be straight. <laughs> it's the everyday. What's it called? Do you know? What? The everyday label, I think. Punch. No. I can't remember the name, but it's well, just. Are a we long talking script. about the punch? Yeah. Yeah. The um. Yeah. The, um. It's on the floor. Classic label. Classic you want about that one there? Yeah, that's it. So the yeah. classic label will fit. I'm just um, being lazy, I guess. But it's not too shabby. There you go. There you go. There you go. 
Okay, I'll just finish that up. So I'll pin it. Finish. <laughs> you ain't gonna finish it. <laughs> I'll finish this one. Literally, I'm just gonna add glue to him. There. And then prop him, prop the sentiment in dimensionals, which Barry's gonna kindly get me. Mini dimensionals, please. <laughs> Large ones to know where they are. Thank you. Just like magic. Wow. Wow. There we go. Nearly done. And then I'll finish up the blue one. When Boris made the other one. Yeah, we're supposed to. This video will be going live. Or this, um, we'll do the blog, blog post for this later on in the week. Uh, Saturday, Friday, Friday. Uh, see the, f yes. Tomorrow, yes, Friday. Yeah. Tomorrow will be the one from Sunday. That's it. We're trying to keep a schedule. And we're keeping to it. Ish. Ish. <laughs> a blog post schedule, so we have one going out every day. Or nearly every day. That's a lot, isn't it? There you go. Move that aside. Pretty. There we go. So I'm quite impressed I'm, with that. I'm, I'm, impressed I'm very with that, impressed actually, with that. That, um, <laughs> that we've done it without using actual Halloween paper. Paper. Cool. But it will be much more amazing if you have Halloween paper. Yes. But um, being at Halloween's tomorrow. <laughs> we didn't have any. We didn't have any. So we've used Dino Raw. Yes. Rawr. Cool. <laughs> so, let's flick you round. So, oh, there we go. Good. Yes. So, there we go. So, lovely. So, is that, yeah, we've got the treats in that one yes, as well, we haven't do. we? So, perfect size box for some treats using the gusseted bags as well. Hi, Carol using yeah, the gusseted cellophane bags, which fit perfectly inside them, so it keeps the treats... Um, How they look? You look lovely, stunning. <laughs> See what I have to put up with. <laughs> what? So, um, you yeah. You can have a necklace. Okay. Anyway, yes. Great work, well done you. <laughs> <laughs> I would normally be swearing at him right now, but oh. I can't because we're on camera. Um, so there we go. No, it's really good. I came home from work. I was saying it isn't good. Yeah, I came home from work and I was like, what you got planned? And I you showed it plan. to me and I was like, yay, because I don't have any. <laughs> no, I knew. So um, Jay will do something with lollipops at some point, maybe. <laughs> yeah, we need to get a new one because I, I bought loads of Halloween lollipops. And didn't make anything I with didn't them. make any. So, but you still got tonight, ready for tomorrow. Yeah, I guess. Take them to work and just give them out to yes. all your work colleagues. One of my Stamping Glam Squad uh, project for next month is a lollipop holder. Mm. Oh, is it? Yes. Is that what it is now, isn't it? Well, <laughs> no. Is it always going it's to already be? done. Okay, all it's, right. I've done it yesterday and I'm oh, way ahead. It is way well. Yes. Loves to do. <laughs> Excellent. Anyway. All right, so we, we digress and we waffle. Um, so I think that's quite, well, 45 minutes. And that's all right. Yes. So, um, yeah, I think that's it. I think we're fine. We cool. are good with what we've done. Um, I hope you like what we've done there. Um, we will post details up and the measurements will be on our blog on Friday. So, um, yeah. Watch that space, and we're also going to post this video back over on YouTube as well. So if you want to watch it, you can rewatch it on Friday from Friday as well. It'll be over on YouTube for you. All right. Cool. So um, remember, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, follow button wherever you're watching this, and um, get notified when we're back on live again. All right. Yeah. Anything else? No. That's no. it. Cool. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching, and Thank we you. will be back with you on Sunday night at seven o'clock. Bye. Bye.